Here today to discuss um, the IEP of Maya Jones. Maya Jones is an 11th grade student at Buffalo Academy of Science Charter School and she is classified with the disability of autism. So here's a summary of Maya's current levels of performance for career vocational and transition. As a transition assessment, Maya was given the NYSED career plan. Um, and also as a secondary transition activity, she completed a self-assessment on career zone. These assessments were chosen because even though she could indicate that she enjoyed computers and math class, Maya couldn't articulate a specific career that used these interests and preferences. So we wanted to give her the ability to explore her options. Um, the NYSED career plan indicated that Maya has a strong inclination towards STEM subjects, so science, technology, engineering, math, and that her ideal job would be one that is majorly computer-based and allows her to work remotely as she is not fond of social interactions. Um, the career zone assessment prompted Maya to select various values and interests and as a result matched her to the careers of computer information systems manager and computer systems administrator. When asked about these, she seemed interested, so that's definitely a potential to consider going forward. For speech and language, Maya is a strong speech student and she needs continued work in her enunciation skills as well as her socialization skills. Academically, Maya is very hardworking. She's always trying her best. Um, she is slightly below grade level in English language arts. She requires additional time to complete writing assignments and requires access to a word processor for lengthy written assignments. Um, she excels in math class as and is one year ahead of her peers in that area. Some academic strengths, preferences, and interests. She's an academically gifted student and she is a very hard worker. Um, she's particularly strong in math class, science class, and technology class. She really likes when technology activities are incorporated into any of her core subjects. Um, she has been observed to be very organized and has begun to find her voice a lot more in class. So even if she might not necessarily interact with her peers that much, she will raise her hand to volunteer and answer. Um, in speech, Maya answers questions for conversation and can demonstrate comprehension of information presented orally or in written form. She has very good vocabulary skills overall. Um, academic, de developmental, and functional needs of Maya. So academically, um, she needs to plan and revise her work during reading and writing assignments. A lot of times she will jump into writing assignments without really thinking about what she's going to say and this will lead to a less um, high level product than she could have otherwise achieved. Um, she also needs to work to use effective communication skills and to self-monitor. For speech and language, um, she needs to overall improve her speech intelligibility and also improve her social communication skills. Socially. So Maya does not socialize much with her peers, but she will work with classmates on specific group projects if instructed to do so. These activities go well, but she does not prefer them. Um, she's observed to get along well with all of her teachers. She does very well interacting with adults. Um, her teachers report that she has a positive outlook on her classwork and has begun to participate more often in classes. Before this meeting, Maya's parents expressed some concern regarding Maya's ability to communicate with others. They say that she benefits from structure and routine, and they also reported that Maya does not tend to initiate social interactions with others, but she can get along fine if she's forced into the situation. Um, when communicating, it's been very clearly reported, for both from teachers and her parents, that Maya has a tendency to leave out details of a point she's trying to make, um, which requires others to prompt or question her for more information. Physically, um, well, first off, Maya was diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder and ADHD. Maya is prescribed medications to address um, her ADHD. She requires additional time for transition between classes, and she also needs access to an elevator during the school day. She continues to take advantage of special education transfer ser transportation services due to her slower gait, um, communication delays, and her autism diagnosis. She wears glasses, and when attempting to write with pencil and paper, it takes her a very long time. And so she is given access to a computer with writing software when she's asked to do longer written responses. So for her measurable post-secondary goals, so after high school, 
regarding education and training. So after graduating high school, Maya plans to attend a four-year college and to study math technology or computer programming. Um, in regards to employment, her goal is to be employed in the field of technology or computer programming. And at, in regards to, to independently living, after completing education, Maya will hopefully live independently. All right. So thinking about the transition needs of Maya. So Maya needs to improve her ability to communicate, transition across settings, and increase time management skills. So increasing her ability to communicate will allow for her to successfully achieve her goal of eventually living independently and being able to self-advocate. It will help her achieve her goal of getting self-employed as social skills are necessary to perform well in a job interview as well as the job itself. Improving her transition skills will be important in helping Maya succeed in the college setting where she will not have special education teachers prompting her actions. Furthermore, improving her time management skills will also be important when taking college classes as these classes will be more rigorous than high school and professors will be less likely than high school teachers to constantly remind students of deadline and also accepting late work. So course of study. Maya is anticipated to graduate in June 2023 with an advanced Regents Diploma. Um, we believe this is appropriate for Maya since she is a highly capable student who maintains high grades. Um, furthermore, a high school degree will be necessary for her to achieve her goal of being accepted into a four-year college with a significant STEM major. Um, this course of study will, let, will set her on a path to getting a college degree and then a job of, in the field of computer technology or a job in any field that she might find that she is interested in as she continues. So special education programs and services, she will continue to receive consultant SPED, service, SPED teacher services in English language arts. She will continue to receive speech therapy. And in regards to her accommodations and modifications in the general education classroom, she will get checks for understanding, additional time to complete assignments, refocusing and redirection, a copy of class notes, and access to a computer for writing assignments. For testing accommodations, and this applies to all classroom tests and also state, state exams and regents exams. Um, she gets tests administered in a small group. She gets language and direction simplified. She gets extended time, 1.5. She gets on-task focusing prompts, and she gets use of assistive technology advice. That's for the writing. All right, in regards to her coordinated set of activities, so Maya's coordinated set is in line with her measurable post-secondary goals. She's enrolled in general education courses with the support of a SPED teacher just for English. She will receive specialized instruction from the SPED teacher to su support skill development in this area. And this should allow for her to get high enough grades in English to achieve her goal of acquiring an advanced Regents Diploma. She'll also receive speech therapy to improve her communication and enunciation skills. These skills will help her succeed in living independently as well as succeeding in job interviews. Um, she will also receive community experiences where the school will help facilitate local, co local college tours and visits to see which four-year institutions she might be interested in attending. And it will also allow for Maya to work towards her goal of successfully applying and getting accepted into that school. Um, Maya will also be provided with resources to connect with um, ACC SVR to explore supports for continuing education and securing employment. These resources will help her develop effective functional communication and social navigation across societal settings in order to achieve that goal of transitioning into an independent adult. Um, we're really hoping that all of these supports will help Maya in her transition into adulthood and allow her to be truly successful as she goes forward.